I think you do, mate. If that's a necky one, I think you've got it. Hello. All right, back nine at the SA Open. Oh, fair. Not Sun City. Yeah, uncharted territory. Yeah, I played, played this course once and... Yeah, a long time ago. Do you want to play a little Stableford or something for a bit of a laugh? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to play medal you can fit one in the in the garbage, but... Come on, mate, that's the wrong attitude. Well, we have just sat down for an hour trying to have lunch. It's 403 metres, or is it to clear the one on the uh, left? The first two traps are 250 to carry. The second trap at the left is 281 to reach. Try and keep <laughs> did it straight at the flag and... Yeah. Yeah, great tee. Great tee ball. Possibly going to do a little forfeit, but we haven't thought of it yet. So to yeah, keep you interested till the end. Not um, decided yet. If we get in, it's looking a bit murky over the hills. So, what's your number? Uh, one two nine. I've not played this nine. This might be a tough track. It's got to be level par as the cutoff point, isn't it? I think level par better. I should win. Yeah. Over par, you win. Okay. Level nine. That's where he turns it on now. Look. Hmm. Chances. Chances. I need to get some points in early. Yeah, so we've been fairly safe with this because, I mean, we could do eating something dodgy, but that may not be too good when you're on the first tee and there's excrement running down your leg. Yeah. No, so that's... we're going to do a click system. Yeah. So level par is zero clicks. One over one, one under one for each of us. And that is basically being each other's bitch yeah whatever they want make a cup of tea or so i've got a, or if you win i've got to continue being your bitch yeah normal play continue continues for you i'm gonna get my own back yeah but you also got to remember then i decide what goes in the golf bag the next day so well, you're probably going to be carrying it and my laptop up to the room if you lose that would be two clicks because two items what are you seeing a lot of break obviously yeah really I'm... that much well, i think so wow you're playing mind games, aren't you? <laughs> that much. See if it does break a foot and a half. It's obviously breaking more than that, mate. Right, come on. Yeah, I'll give you that. Oh, she's slopey, eh? 520 metres. Got loads of room down here as well. I can tell it? you're on the camera, not hitting the shot, aren't you? What's the line? Fountain? Left of the fountain? Yeah, I think it's probably where they are. Okay. I would say. Wind's dying off now, so oh, it is yeah, getting it's, easier. No, it's a joke easy. He's got a 15 foot putt that swung for two and a half feet. For the Ned Bank, you'll see in a minute on my B-roll clip that I'm going to make you do. And the scores vary so much. I think six under, one one year, 20. I think it's literally from about six or eight under to like 26 under. Right. Like it varies. I don't know whether that's wind, course set up. Sometimes it's a 12 man field. I mean, it was 12 of the best players in the world. But yeah. Obviously, if you've only got 12 men, then there's a decent chance that a few of them won't play that well. I mean, I'm playing a 12 man field with a million dollars first prize. I always think though, you know those Shell's Wonderful World of Golf videos? Yeah. Where it's like, winner gets 100 grand, loser gets 50 grand, it's like, Hell, man, you're just turning up to play golf in front of the crowd, 50 minimum. Yeah, no, I'd be. It's just nice, isn't it? One round. There must have been a bit. We just split the cash and have a few beers before and and chill. Yeah, especially when Ernie's playing. Yeah, I think Ernie might be saying, no, 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 we'll drink the beers and play. That's a mongoose, I think. Yeah. I'm going to get copyright strikes from that music in the background in a minute. 250. Can you get there? It's into the wind, isn't it? Pumping the three wood. I mean, the, the three wood's probably safer than the layup by the looks of it. Probably a three wood up that. 
Ooh, harsh kick left. Actually turned it a bit off that one. You better watch out for these guys, mate. I don't have to move them. Come on. Come on in. There we go. Oh, they've already. Look at them all over the green. Look at that. I bet this one drops one on the way. Oh, there we go. Look. Drop one as he's walking. You don't care, look. No, I think of a toss. Look at the state of that green now. This is uh, not the nicest of lies here. It's quite thick behind. It's got a bit of green to work with, but it is getting away from him, as they say. Oof. Yeah. What am I doing with the camera? Um, yeah, good shot, mate. It landed, like, right on the front. Got, no, no, it landed like on the front of the green, really? which was quite firm, and it just got a big hop. Are you right carrying that, mate? No, not really, mate. To be honest, but taping it to get monkeys, eh? Or gorillas? What's it saying? Flat? Well, I think right edge, fraction right to left. Okay. Maybe just outside. Oh, he knows how to read a green. It's one click. Well, one click at the moment. I mean, we're two holes in. So yeah, I don't want to get too excited. There was a par five. Nice view though, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Leave your comments down below. What do you think the outcome of this match is going to be? Will Steve get more under par? Or is he going to hit one in the bush and uh, be my bitch for the evening. No, I've taken it too far again, mate. Um, right, this isn't gamesmanship, but there's not a lot of room up there, is there? No. This is like a corridor. Yeah. It's almost like being on the gecko tour now, you know? You think you're back on the gecko? I literally am thinking, how am I gonna put a golf ball in that 20 yard slot with a seven iron, is my thoughts. All right. You're confident with driver though, I guess. Well, no, not particular. I would say confident. 411 meters. 238 to have 156 to the front. That's that new, uh, no? Three wood, yes, into wind. Into the breeze. Looks bloody now. It does, there. doesn't it? <clears throat> I won't be saying this to you on Thursday, by the way. Mm. God bloody hell, Steve, this looks narrow, doesn't it? Go on, mate. Go on, mate. Good swing off here. Good luck getting one in there, mate. <laughs> yeah, glad I'm not hitting this shot. Cheers, mate. <laughs> There's divots, so some lads have been hitting irons. Beautiful. No stress for Steve-o. Look at that. Guy's looking back like f now. That's a straight drive, that is. That, look, look, he's, like he's now giving it the arms out. If we don't make it in, look, that would be why. Look at the state of that. Started rumbling up there. Looking a bit ominous. On ominous, is that what you say? Ominous. Communist. Huh? What? Communist? No. Steve has spotted a rat. There, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Oh no, it's there, look. That is a squirrel, or a mongoose. 183 oh. playing 191. Four? Huh? Four? Yeah. Let me... 15 yards wide, back where that flag is. Didn't see that at all, James. Uh, at the board. Yep, it's come down right side of the green on it. Is that a draw or do you not see? Oh, I think it might have just held held the wind. Oh. Yeah, solid. For me. So if the pin was front right, 
because there's this chance of a sort of, sort of front rightish thing. Yeah. And we were sort of, I don't know, sort of here. Yeah, no, that'd be. What would you be eating? Seven or six? Yes, yeah, seven or six iron for me, but yeah. I'm pretty short, so. Mm. So six iron for those boys. Yeah, yeah, those boys. I'm seven, thinking, thinking of going down to the next tee for a short front right, but I'm just wondering whether it's worth all the effort of moving everything and if it's just. Just a. Yeah, I mean, if it was a difference between a four iron and a six iron, yeah. yes, but if it's a difference between a six iron and a seven iron, or yeah. then. That's on the top. Bit too much. Big boy. Yeah. Bit five then. Yeah. Right, so the back of the green. Got one in the uh, got a fairly long putt down like a very subtle tier. Quite a good par three this, isn't it? European tour guys just said that that is on its way. Well, as you can see, that literally looks like it's above us. Probably got time for a couple holes. Mm, it's not bad. But 491 yards, 449 meters. You are? It's quite cool, bird with this little bar on it. Where? Oh, yeah. Oh, moved. Hello? Flowers, barbers. 450 metres. Yeah, great drive. Flying it with the drivers. Right, 167, downwind. Okay. So I think it should be a good 8 iron. Good eye. Wow. I think I might have zapped that back bank to be honest. You think? It doesn't look 167. No. No, when that was in the air. Yeah, it's 149. <laughs> so good nine iron. That's why I don't like using bushnels in tournament. Yeah, we're just having a conversation about sort of like well, Steve asked me what I've learned, or what I've got from the first three, well, first two tournaments. First thing seeing, you probably notice is to make guys. sure you zap the flag, not the back bank. Yeah, that helps. Um, so the thing that I've picked up, a couple of things really. So number one is just, the guys like dispersions are, are very small and you don't see a big wide ball. Yeah. Like you were saying, they, I mean, they may hit it, you know, 20, 30. You consistently hit it offline but you're not hitting it wide offline like no. it's in the rough in play not great but no you can make a par rather than like flush 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 sideways in yeah the bush. that's what you make see on a mini tour you see a like good ball striking on a mini tour like that isn't making it yeah then he'll be like flushing it and then all of a sudden out of nowhere there'll be like a massive snap hook that's like lost ball but playing with all the guys that you played with so far just haven't seen the wide ball yeah i think so that's dispersions awesome. are tight if you say you talk about like ball striking, some lads, oh this lad rips it, I'm like, oh, he's just got a load of club head speed and hits the middle of the club face. Yeah. I'm like, that's not really ball striking I'm in terms me of... Last year. No, no, I didn't mean like that, but like, <laughs> if you watch a ball striker on tour, it's like, some of them might not hit it particularly well or yeah. like impressive, but they hit a nine iron 150, a nine iron, 146, a 9 iron 152. Yeah. We're saying the, like the mini tours, you get more impressive sound off some of the lads and strike, and, mm -hmm. but they're in a 9 iron 140, 158, mm -hmm. they're in it 15 yards left, 10 yeah. yards right, like, which is a different perception of good ball striking. Which sort of leads on to the other thing that I've noticed, which is I know it's quite an obvious one as well, but you, you obviously see a lot of different golf swings from different pros. Yeah. But I've seen like a lot of stuff that if you went to some like some of the PGA coaches and stuff, they'd just try and coach it out of you straight away. Yeah. Like some funky moves, but the guy's still like got it on a string and he's repeating. You have you have the moves that um, that like work if you know what I mean, and work for that person. Yeah. And that just... they've probably done for like fifteen years. Yeah. 
that isn't worth changing. It's, um... I know I've definitely fallen down the rabbit hole of trying to, well, there's a couple things that I feel like are holding me back okay. in technique, so which I'm trying to eradicate, but there's a few like the minor things that probably I don't need to focus on so much. I just yeah, need I to start repeating an action and just repeating it and repeating it and repeating it. It's, that probably looked really good on camera. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but no, there's like the, uh, the, the faults and stuff that work, that hold your golf swing together. And then there's the faults that pull your golf swing apart. Mm. If you know what I mean? It's identifying right that, that, that. They're not textbook, but they're the things that hold my swing together that I do that you know all the top players have a different move that mm -hmm. hold their swing together and then there's finding the bits that this is what causes the bad shots that causes the inconsistency rather than looking at I've got six bad parts in my golf swing it's like actually four of those are probably like the glue that holds your swing together yeah and then find the other two that that's what causes me to go awry yeah. like set up or you know when I get the club face too open or too shut whatever like they're the bits that I struggle with. Yeah. I think that's sort of, think the rest of it's just managing it. It's literally like having your own sort of method and slowly, slowly like chipping away on the stuff that isn't essential yeah. or the stuff that's holding you back rather than trying to go from like that to that and then being like, wow, like it's I'm also, completely lost over here. It's like, quite often dictated by what tour pros are playing well. Do you know what I mean? Like strong club face. It's like, well, Spieth is playing well, oh, yeah. Dustin Johnson. Now it's like, like yeah i've got to get a strong face and you see so many lads trying to yeah but i'm like if that guy was playing if the world number one was fred couples still with that it's yeah like everyone be trying to do that not what the latest trend is or you yeah know, which i think especially at the sort of lower level of professional golf people get so caught up in that trying to copy who's playing well trying yeah. to and so do their coaches rather than that's james wilkshire's golf swing i know these three things hold it together you know, these are the two or three things that when it's going awry cause problems. Mm -hmm. um, sort of keeping it all a bit consistent, I think, rather than trying to overhaul it all and change it. Yeah, we found here that loads of them. What are these then? Maybe that's a mongoose. Again, James. Mong, mong, mongai. Would you call them mongai? I've Look, not, it's a baby one. Not been doing my wildlife research in the last five minutes. He's thinking. Oh, sniff him out. Can we trust him? He's thinking, is that James Wilkshire? 50,000 subscribers. <laughs> Look at the little thing. They're wicked, eh? Yeah. That looks like a real young one, that, doesn't it? Hobbling along. Hello. Oh. He's like, f off, mate. This one's having a dig. Oh. Got that one having a dig, the other one. The other one? <laughs> Digging? Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. That is great. I'm gonna have to get right, Steve, off the back of the green. Sort of just in the uh, the semi stuff into grain though. So it's just gonna jab it out with the putter. It should be quite quick. Oh, that's good. Yeah, pretty good. Ah. Yeah, well done. So we got 388 meters. Quite another tightest looking tee shot. What are you trying to hit 230? Uh, a little bit past that. I'll probably get 240 into get the wind. Breeze, right? 240. One hot, mate. I'll give you that. Give me that. Generous drop. Yeah, uh, it was generous, mate. I mean, it's not A1, is it? Yeah, you can see the green is between the bunkers. Flags tucked, probably like. Let's try that again. Flags. There. 160 pin. You're gonna try and back foot the eight, or? Yeah, try and turn an eight a bit. 
Oh, it's popped. That was a slower delivery. Popped high. Bunker, I think. Traffic, I think. First time you looked in the green side bunker this week, isn't it? Or today? Yeah, I went in a few yesterday. It's quite sort of heavy sand, so like fairway bunker shots would be really hard. And yeah. Green side bunker shots, it's hard to get any sort of spin. Especially a 30 yarder. Yeah, 30 yard to a back pin is just what you want. Especially for a par as well. What do you mean backwards? I went sideways. <laughs> what are you expecting, mate? That's come onto the green. You've landed it ten yards James, long. That was. Look. Don't bounce slightly left and back. <laughs> if, that, if that bounced straight, that would have come back stiff. Yeah. Not saying I hit the same shot again, but. No, I won't hit the same shot again. Nice. Ah, not bad. I thought I was unlucky there, to be honest. That's just my positive thoughts that I think I should get good bounces. Yeah, competition comes round, we'll be cursing that mound of mud. You're just mud. sitting there going, plug, make a double. I am just waiting for the for you to drop a few. Wow. Well, it's not really great morale. No. Team no, morale no. of this format that you've picked. No, especially the last though, you don't even let me off a laser in the back bank, not the flag. Right then, for a five. Yeah, I get a shot here as well. Just outside the left, I think. Stay up. Ooh. Now I'm losing clicks. I'll give you that one. For a six for no points. Yeah, so one the other way now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you're now one click. What's the number, mate? 185, downwind, Hi. one click down. Quiet, please, lads, come on. Travel? Yeah, hit that bit at the top. Terrible shot. Right, good shot in there. Yeah, a little bit lucky, it's a bit top groovy, but. Bit Mike Myers. Sorry? Bit Mike Myers. Mm. Groovy. No, I've shoved it. Oh! Oh, come on. It's three feet up the hill. No? No. <laughs> no. No, you can have that. Go on, you can have that. And now tap it in casually like it's easy. There you go, look. That's a standard, isn't it? <laughs> That's all you can see. Where's the fairway? Uh, That's the book and the photo. So I think that's the middle of the fairway. Run out at 304. So just poke a driver down then. Run out at 304, poke it. <laughs> that was in the runner, not Steve. Yeah, a t shirt, mate. Really nice. Trying to work those tan lines out, I reckon. Oh, mate, walking round's bad enough. I know. I know. To be fair, there's a bit of room when you're down here. Yeah, I think it's more visually intimidating yeah. this course than bar obviously two holes ago where I did it in the bush. Um, it is wider than it looks. What's your number? 180, so I think I'm going to try and hit a good six iron. Comments, what is that? It's gone. What do I build now? Blue head looks like a chicken with a blue head. Looks like a chicken with a blue head? Yeah, that's hard to describe it. Spin. Terrible bounce there. That's a tofty. Like a yeah. Bit of a big swing. 
Yeah. How many fingers and thumbs are you going to go for this one? This needs like a Tiger Woods moment, doesn't it? Keep me in the game here. Eh? You're going to do the run around fist pump? Maybe a waddle. I don't know about running. Oh! oh putter arm, the arm went up and everything. Oh. Right, you can have that. That's very kind. Take it into the last, you've got an eagle to make. An eagle, well, they count as double in this game. Five, four, five, so it tempts you a bit. You've got an yeah. island green up on the par five. Shame is straight into the sun, you can't really see anything yet, but the green is sort of to the left down there. What's the line? I don't know because I've got two photos in here, but I don't know where. Nice background there. I don't know what the difference is. But, oh, some deer across the tower. Oh dear. Right. What's I'm... a deer with no eyes called? No idea. It's terrible, isn't it? Hmm? Terrible, isn't it? Yeah, no, you make a good dad. Right, I'm going recoiling, James. Can you keep your eye on this? You recoil? Oh, yeah, Shit, they're running, look. They know, they, they've heard what you just said and they are literally hey, off. No, it's like the warning call. I've got to let people know before I do it. It's like the uh, Lord of the Rings with the, the Gondor. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they are literally going mental. Left side of the fairway. Otherwise I'm in trouble. Look at them look. Bambies. Uh, oh, there's more. Loads of them. Like a crossing, but not, uh, not a zebra crossing. Uh. Oh, look at the little one. So cool. Where? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at them. How many there are? No, sir. What are you doing with me? You're playing because you've got no friends. If you want some, I'll give it to you. Sorry. So, so uncultured. Like. <laughs> they're lovely creatures and. Look what I'm doing. Well, can I play from here? Can you let me play two as it's the last hole? Alright. Because it's a good shot to take on. 2.45 into a little breeze. And I've got to smoke it. So I wouldn't take it on, I'm just... Alright. The odds are it's going to go in the, in the in the water. Okay, well I'm going to get the high ground here. Alright, I'm primed up here, mate. This is what we've got. It's not the biggest of greens either. Floating up there. Oh! I know oh, you get two goes at it. Oh! Two goes at the. Sh two. Oh. I thought I meant, can I hit one then? Well, like a mulligan. Layup. Right, the layup's hit. Down in play. He's going to go for it again. Right. I think you do, mate. If that's a necky one, I think you've got it. Hello. Why have I not seen that down? Straight in. I need to watch that back. Click down. Just using one of the clicks now. Loving life. <laughs> Get one out early. How many would it be? Two or three? Well, what are we doing? Am I? Well, you can have a mulligan for your first one. So play it as, play oh. it as, you're playing two up there and then you've got a chance of making birdie to okay. get it back to one. Okay. So, you, uh, so if you don't make birdie, we've got one more. You've got one more. <sighs> right, might have found the green, but there's like three balls on the surface. So. Not sure yet. If I shout for him, do you think he'll move? 103. That's Dan Housing. Dan Housing. Uh, 103, go on, hit it now. Yeah, 
Is that Johnny Miller? Yeah. Raymond. Raymond Floyd. Seve. 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 Bernhard. Mark McNulty. Woozy. Woozman. Someone. Fulton Allen. David. David Frost. David. Bernhard. David's had a right good run at this. Yeah. Nick. And again. Corey. Corey. Third bomber. Third bomber. Monty. Price had a good career, didn't he? Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, each one's a million. And then Ernie got on the scene and it was like Garcia, Els, Garcia, Goosen, Burek, Burek, Immelman. He had a, like a strange end to his career, didn't he? Yeah. Did he have an injury? I'm not sure to be honest. Allenby, Westwood, Westwood. Came. Bjorn, Willett, Leishman, Noren, Brandon, Lee, Tommy. It's quite cool, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's quite cool seeing these one. This is a great finish, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's a proper off. This is it, this is to get no more clicks. Oh, just hit something. Right, that's it, thanks for watching. I'm gonna make him do something for me no, later. Not like that, you know. Huh? Have, am I carrying everything up to the hotel? Yeah, the laptop as well. Lovely. Thanks, enjoyed um, it. They're gonna think I'm right. They do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right, see you soon. Uh, thanks for watching, see you soon.